Good morning. It's quarter past six and just got out my tent. And the views are absolutely incredible here. And I'm going to pack up and get going on what I think might be my last day. It's 6.40 a.m. now and I've just set off on day five of hiking the Beacons Way in the Brecon Beacons in Wales. And I'm on the last leg now. I'm on the west of the Beacons and I'm being treated to the most amazing sunrise. I have about 26 miles left to the end, so I'm not sure if I'm going to hit 26 miles today and finish or if I'm gonna hit about 20 miles camp and then finish tomorrow morning. Just leaving a tiny little village of Candescent. I don't even think it's a village, it's so small. There's nothing there other than one church, a couple of houses, and luckily a YHA hostel. Um, managed to get some water from them. There was uh, some really nice people in there, and they said, Yeah, come in, fill up your water, which was awesome because I didn't know where I was going to get my water from today. And I'm now heading back up into the mountains and I've fallen in love with the Beacons Way a little bit. It's a stunning walk and it's equally brutal. And just past this hedge here, you can see the peak that I've just come down from. And now it's just sending me back up pretty much the same mountain, but just over a little bit. I'm looking forward to today. It's going to be another awesome day up in the mountains and it's hot and it's blue skies and it's going to be stunning views again. The mountain I'm currently climbing is called Ye I think it's pronounced, and in English it's called the Black Mountain. And it stands at 585 meters. And I can see just across there, I think that peak there is where I camped, and that's where I'm heading up to the top of the Black Mountain. So hot. It's only nine o'clock. So that's the Black Mountain complete. And now I got Garag Garag Lass in front of me. So quiet up here and peaceful. It's just me and a few sheep. There's always a few sheep up on the mountain. This is a tough, tough little mountain section at the moment. The 
path just kind of completely disappears and you're just sort of working your way through the landscape and so i'm right on the path on my map and there's no way you could do this without a map there's just no path no signpost nothing and it's making for some really rugged hiking and it feels very adventurous so it's just very slow going Expect to see a random door. Spooky. So this area is a disused limestone quarry, and that door is obviously a room from the quarrying days. Wow! Look at this. like a limestone furnace you can see all the limestone inside that's really cool oh, it's been really tough hiking this morning and I'm on just under 12 miles and it's just gone 12 o'clock uh, so I'm gonna have a little break and eat some peanut butter sandwiches and some more peanuts. Uh, starting to drop down off the mountains now. And wow, that was a tough half a day's hike in the mountains. The path just disappeared in most places and I was just relying on my map and basically just walking a bearing, walking in a straight line and a lot of it was boggy surprisingly because we're in a drought but yeah lots of bog, my feet are still wet but it was very adventurous and uh, that's where the Beacons Way took me so I had to follow it. What we're heading for that castle. It looks like a very nice castle indeed. It's a very nice castle, um, but they're charging a small fortune to go in and see it. Uh, but luckily for me, there was a cafe I could go to and fill up my water. So I'm fully loaded now and I have 10 miles left of the Beacons Way. I can see the finish off in the distance. I think it's about seven miles away, but I can see the, the little town of Klangadog. And my feet are starting to feel it a bit. My feet have held up pretty well on this trip. Uh, but just today I'm trying to push mileage. I'm on just over 21 miles now. And with the heat, I've got a couple of hot spots on my heels and on my toes. So I'm hobbling to the end a little bit. If 
you seen my day one of the Beacons Way video, you remember seeing a bench like this. And it says Skirid 4, 152 kilometres away. Wow, it's like a twin of the bench I seen at the start of this hike. That's very cool. Oh, apparently Bethlehem's in Wales. Who knew? I've not got too much further to go on the Beacons Way now. And I can honestly say that this trail has not disappointed. It is a truly epic, epic trail. And it takes in some of the best mountains of the Beacons and some of the best sites. And it pretty much takes you on a grand tour of the Brecon Beacons National Park. And it is spectacular. It is tough though. It is very, very hilly. There's a lot of elevation, I think in total, so over 6,600 meters, uh, so it is tough. And I've enjoyed every single mile of it. And I've wild camped four nights up in the mountains, which was awesome. Got some nice sunsets and sunrises and some spectacular views. I was so lucky with the weather as well. And I've just got, oh, low, oh, low trees. Uh, I've just got a couple of miles to go now to Clanger Dog train station finally made it Clanga dog train station and it's teeny tiny <laughs> very small station but I've made it to the end of the beacons way Clanga dog station and there's no marker here to say end of the beacons way or anything and whew, I am knackered and it's been one hell of a journey. I think it's time for a rest, put my feet up and uh, plan my next hike, I think. <laughs>